Shalom. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Racha Kadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone and rule well. And Shalom to the elect out there, teaching this word in sincerity and truth. And, um, I just wanted to get into a topic today, and I wanted to call it um, Servant Kings. And um, the reason I'm bringing that up is because one of the things that you learn coming into this truth when you come in to serve the Lord, coming back into your right mind, you learn that um, this thing is about serving, you know, as well as a number of other things such as repenting and so on and so forth, it all interwines. But, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai and the brethren, the brotherhood, um, you know, serve, um, servitude, serving one another, ministering is very important, man. So I just wanted to go into that a little bit in this in this lesson. So I'll get the first scripture. This is Mark chapter 10, verse 42. It says, But Yahweh Shai called, to, called them to him and saith unto them, Ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles, exercise lordship over them and their great ones exercise authority upon them you know so anyone get into like a even let me just give you this example of this society when you go into a, let's say a, a workplace you've got the different levels or whatever you know everyone's just you know got that, they, they want to exercise that lordship man they want to be get make sure they got that one up over you and you know they want to treat you like you know you're their servant man you know you know you know you're, you're a slave but it says, but so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister. And that's something that's very important. See, the more that you grow in this truth, grow in faith, and the greater you become in the eyes of, you know, you know, the the, the people in a sense, the how Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai exalts you, um, or you know, venerates or you know, um lifts you up in um in the eyes of Israel, um, you know, and maybe, you know, gives you more responsibility or whatever it is, um, you, what comes with that is servitude, man, you know, and um, some of the, and everyone's a servant, man, to Yahweh, man, okay, even Yahweh Shai, okay, and all things were given to Yahweh Shai, man, Yahweh Shai con conquered sin in the flesh, man. And he was the perfect example, man. He gave a great example when he was with us on the earth of how we should be. And I'm going to go into that, Lord, in this, in this uh, lesson as well. And it says, so it says, remember, it says, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister. Now, I'm just going to quickly get that word of the minister in etymology. It says, minister, noun, one who acts upon the authority of another. From the old French, ministre, servant. Valet, member of a household, staff, administrator, musician, minstrel. So, uh, from Latin minister, inferior, servant, priest, assistant, priest, uh, you know, subordinate, whatever you want to call it, man. So, but, you know, the point is servant. So, it says, whosoever shall, will be great among you shall be your minister, you know. And that's true because there's it's a big flock out there, man. So it's got to be ministered to, man. It's got to be fed, watered, you know. And uh, and and our apostles and elders, man, right now, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, you know, they're the they're the greatest ministers on the earth right now, man. And they're ministering to the flock, man. And it's a beautiful thing. And the men on down, you know, the laborers are, are doing that as well, man. You know. Yahweh Shai said, if you feed me, love my sheep, uh, if you love, love me, Salakia, feed my sheep, you know, so we, <coughs> we do these videos, we edify, <coughs> bring out the prophecies, you know, excuse me, I'm better under the weather, <coughs> um, but a hey, part of that, that's part of the, the ministry, man, and then, you know, helping one another, you know, being good to each other, you know, and it says, and being brotherly, you know, and it says, and whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the son of man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. That's what Yahweh Shai did, man. Yahweh Shai was the greatest, man. You know, Yahweh Shai came and he ministered, man. He didn't come to be ministered to. 
he gave his life up for us, man. You know, and that's that goes back to this proverb, man. This is Ecclesiasticus three and eighteen. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Because hey, the Lord is not looking for not looking for some old proud guy, man. Okay, the Lord is looking for 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 pretty, pretty much men that are gonna serve him, man. Keep his commandments, you know. <laughs> the Lord's looking for servants, man. Because hey, the Lord is the king, man. You know. And um, it, you know it trickles down. But um, this that's part and parcel of this truth, man. You know. Now, I, I, I wanted to call it servant kings because, you know, you can you're still you can still be a king. You know, the Lord can, you know, do that. But what the Lord's gonna do that is gonna make us a nation of kings and uh, priests. But you know, it can make you a king. But that that is see King David for example, who was a very humble man, even though he was a king, man. Okay, so you can be a king and all that, but then you've also got to be humble, man. That's why it says the greater thou art, the more thou humble thyself. Because really, to be a ruler, that means that you've now become a servant and a minister onto the pe onto your people. You know, you've got to make sure that they're good. You got to make sure they're okay, man. You know, that's part. Of, that's that's part of the, the the office of a king, a ruler. It's not just sitting there all day and just enjoying everything. You got to look after your people, man. This is Galatians chapter 5 verse 13. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only, use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. <coughs> <coughs> Matthew 7 and 12. Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men would men should do to you, do you even so to them, for this is the law and the prophet. So, hey, look out for each other, you know, preferring, we talk about preferring one to one another, you know, if you see a man lacking in something, okay, tell him about it, or, you know, help him out, whatever, whether it be spiritual, whether it be carnal, you know, help as much as you can according to your ability, you know, and that's part of, um, you know, serving one another, man. You know, and, and that's that's part of, that's part of the, you know, the the brotherhood of this this truth, the ministry of this truth, man. You know, this 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 that's part of that. You know, becoming a minister, man, a servant, man. Now, this is John chapter twelve, <coughs> verse twelve. John chapter twelve, verse twenty six. Says, if any man serve me, let him follow me. And that's what we do. We follow the Lamb. We say, "Have we go off, man?" Okay. We hear my, the Lord said, "My flock hear my sheep." Okay, and we hear him, man. We follow him. Okay, let him follow me. My my flock hear my voice, Salakia. And where I am, there shall also my servants be. My servant be. If any man serve me, him will my Father honor. Now you go ask yourself, how do you serve? How do you serve the Lord, man? How do you serve Yahweh Shai, man? Okay. I'm going to get it right here. This is Matthew chapter 25, verse 40. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. You know? So, you know, edifying. Okay, going out in the highways and byways, doing these videos, pushing that out there and feeding the sheep. Okay, rebuking, exhorting, you know, edifying, um, you know, helping brothers out, you know, if brothers, you know, his car's broke or whatever, he needs some money to fix it up, you know, you got the ability to come together and help him out, you know, bit, you know, you getting moved around somewhere, brother needs some petrol money to help him out, brother needs to, some stuff being moved from one house to, you know, he's moving to a new spot. You know, you got you got the facility. You might have a van or something. Help that brother out. You know, brother needs to go somewhere. You know, to a train station or airport or wherever it is. You know, take him. You know, brother's feeling you know sick or whatever. You know, um, he needs some stuff bought from the shop or whatever. You know, go help him out, man. Go get that stuff, man. 
you know, and just, you know, help each other out, man, that this thing is about serving one another, man, and then the, the more that you learn to serve, you know, hey, the, the, the Lord's gonna increase you, man, and, and, and grow you, man, because to understand, to understand that the scriptures say, the greater thou art, the more thou humble thyself, that it doesn't say, you know, be more proud and this and that, nah, man, it says, be humble, man, the Lord showed humility when he, when he cleaned these disciples' feet, you know, that was a great show of humility. That was a great show of of, of 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 ministering, man. You know, the Lord came to minister, man. Okay, He came to 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 to, to heal the sick and the um um you know the publicans and sinners, man. You know, them that are sick, man. Not them that are whole, man. The Lord came to to minister, man. And that's instead that we need to come in as well, man. We need to come in at because we're, we're right now we're, we're doing a ministry, man. Okay, and 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 part of learning to be a leader is to learn that when, when you're a chief among the people, you know, you basically you're gonna have to to minister to them, man. And that's an important thing, part of the learning how to be a leader. And we're all leaders, man. You know, the the 144, the elect. You know, we're all we're all leaders, man. You know, especially the 144, which is the governing body, man. You know, so you know. I hope that's been edifying. Um, with that, you know, shalom.